and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man, not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home played. I mean, just ridiculous, sub one whip. I mean, he's dominating hitters, and a guy like this on the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the DH, Alec Bohm. Here comes a pitch. That yeah. one inside. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 640. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. Swing and a miss as he chases one that one Two darting strikes. out of the zone. Next oh. offering is way upstairs. Two. Two. Two, two now. Down is full. Three, two. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So. Gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Jairo Munoz takes a ball here as he stands in now. No score, just getting started top of the first. That one fouled off. The pitch. And a count one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. In the air, left field. Quinn pulls that one down, and there's two down. As we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies, and a guy having a big year for him, Gio Urshela. Well, this club has started to lean on him. He's got 10 RBIs in his last 10 games, so this is a guy, when you need some momentum, got some runners on, you want him at the plate. He's been clutch, and he's been delivering big time. Here's Bryce Harper. One of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. That's First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. And the 0-2. Ball one there. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Next offering way off the plate.
on the ground. To first, Harper retired. And that is that. We're midway in inning number one. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab in this one, Zach Wheeler. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy Chaz Chisholm. And the pitch. Foul ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Stays alive. That one misses in the dirt. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and deals. On the ground to short. Over to first, and two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. And time now for the Marlins lineup. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Garrett Cooper now in the box comes up empty with a swing there two down nobody on swing and a foul back that's out of play the 0 2 and the pitch is outside ball one Lane 12 one ball two strikes. Rolled over to third. The throw to first. Out. out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Miami down in order. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, Kyle Schwarber. The first baseman, number 12, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. One oh. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid oh, to call no. strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Oh. 
Two one pitches in there and the count is even. What about some no no's like you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school right. <laughs> yeah even in the minor leagues you'll learn quickly uh, you call the umpire blue you better learn his name and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The left fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. First pitch, and he just misses. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. No score here in the second. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Chisholm sizes this one up, tracks it down for the out. Two down. That exists. The third baseman, number 16. Gio Urshela steps in. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. No. Second inning here, no score. Here's a one two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. From the mud, I'm talking about the slums from a city where it's wicked. Most people scared to come. Scared to and now it's Jesus Aguilar having a nice season in the power categories. Eighth in the National League in home runs as of today. The wind of the pitch. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. That's what the fans came to see. His 33rd homer of the year. It's 1-0. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul, was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets to jog around the bases. Good for him. Digging in, Brian Anderson. In there for strike one. Boo, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. This one in the air right field. And a superb diving catch. So a great diving catch. And that was only possible because of the route he took to get there. Right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it. And Perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know. But, man, 
Great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Batting seven. The catcher. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. First ball. offering, misses the mark. One ball, no strike. And the right hater deals. Line drive. Now the throw to first on the run. In there safely. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. So two down, Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh. Fortes off of first with two away. Next pitch is downstairs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pays hit as he pulls up short. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back singles. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Roman Quinn up here now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Righty delivers. That's a strike. That's strike two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Got him. Inning over, and it could have been worse. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Top half of the third inning, and now the shortstop, Bryson Stock. For the, Phillies, the shortstop, Bryson Stock. The right hander back to work. And that one oh, just oh missed off the outside edge. And the pitch. He rides. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And one out now. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike okay. if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. JT Real Muto steps in. In there and it's 0-1. Here's your one. No. That one is upstairs. Oh. 
And now two and two. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Next offering misses. Ball three. Righty to the plate. This to third, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here is Herrera. In the air, left field. Quinn settles underneath it. That's out number two. Up next for Philadelphia, the designated hitter, Alex. So the lineup flips over, and now it's Alec Bohm. His first at bat was a strikeout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next pitch is outside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a pitch. Right. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ball. And misses inside. High fly ball, right field. Garcia under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Philly strand one. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in Miami, Jazz Chisholm now. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run first offering and it just misses and the 1 0 And that one a little bit high. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Ball, one strike. Hard hit left side. Fires over to Schwarber. One up, one down. Abasayu Garcia, the next to hit. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. And he deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Schorber takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. He's over one. 
Excuse me, miss. Like, what's your name? How about we just tone it down? And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That's a hit. So the inning's still alive with Jesus Aguilar coming to the dish. He's been swinging it really well lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. is 34th of the season and they tack on to their lead it's three nothing power versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's gonna win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here two outs nobody on and up next for Miami Ryan Anderson the third baseman, Ryan. swings through that oh, one oh and one The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. He swings, floats it into left, and it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. No batter, no batter. Runner at first with two away. And now for the Marlins, Miguel Rojas. First pitch, just misses. The 1-0. And a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. And there's a foul ball. Next offering misses down and away. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The pitch. Bounce to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. So two on with two away. Nick Fortes now at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one.
and he'll one. Ball. That one Ball. missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. It's now 3 0. Back here at the ballpark, here's Yairo Munoz. The Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. Uh -huh. Strike on the outside. It's 0-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Reaching for it and brings it in. Here's Harper now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And here it comes. Next Ball. offering is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The pitch. And that one handled. Harper retired. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Yep. That one's in there 0 and 1. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next Ball. pitch is inside, and a count even one and one. And Ball. there's a ball. Two, one. Next one misses, and the count is three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Left-hand batter waits. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And that is that. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Still down 3-0. Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jesus Sanchez. Wind in the pitch. 
And that one oh. missing low. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And the 1-0. -oh. Hard ground ball base now. Well, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. He elevates that a little bit more. It's definitely out of here. Roman Quinn, the next up for the Marlins, went down on strikes his first time through. First no. offering misses the mark. One oh. Let's go. Wait for the fish. The one oh. Just two. missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The count two and one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Three one is on the way. And now the count filled up three and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him. One gone here. So the batting order turns over. And at the plate for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. He had in this game. Looking through later. You're going to have to pick. A one. And a high ball to look. Cat on us. Put the squid on that one. And it's play. Wow. He's in Gary Cooper. Next for the list. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is down low. Two balls, no strikes to count. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. <laughs> Two-run shot for Miami this inning. And the lead is now 5-0. And 
and welcome back. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Leading off for Philadelphia, the left fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. The pitch. And ball one. One ball, no strike. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Right-hander kicks, deals. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. The wind to the pitch. That oh, one just oh. misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Now all even up. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Gio Urshela to the plate. That one laced to center in a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. One gone runner at first. And now Bryson Stott. Fought off foul. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Left hand hitter waits. Pitch misses there. And a count one and two. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Next offering is fouled back. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two swing and a pop up makes the grab on the run two away now that is catcher, JT. and now it is JT real Muto and he's already singled in this game. Pitch misses oh. inside. Ball one. Righty delivers. And there's the strike. One ball, one strike. Urshela, the runner at first with two gone. pitch swing and a miss and he's down on strikes and that'll do it one left for Philadelphia it's five nothing
We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the DH, Jesus Aguilar. And the right hander back to work. That misses the zone. One and oh. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Bailey Falter up and loosening in the pen. McKenzie, the right hander, loosening up as well. And the righty deals. And it's one and one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. The one one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. That one misses. The count now two and two. And the pitch. That's to third. And that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Bailey Falter. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And up next for Miami, Brian Anderson. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Harper puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Man at first, Miguel Rojas at the play, one for two. Grounder might be two to second. That's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Five innings complete. Marlins five and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Miami. And now the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. The center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Lopez back to work that catches the top part of the zone going one and he deals and a foul ball Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. The wind of the pitch. In the air, center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Now here is Jairo Munoz. First pitch just misses.
Bohm. The runner at first with one gone in the inning. The next no. offering misses. And that's ball two. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Ground ball left side could be two. Rojas to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. Marlins five and the Phillies nothing. Here at Lone Depot Park, stepping in, Nick Fortes. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Chris, you look at it, these are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. And a swing and a miss, and there's one down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. There's the strike. Playing 11, 1-1. One, one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And yeah, now oh. two balls and a strike. 2-1. And he flips a breaking ball in Playing there two, two, two. or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. And it's filled up. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Marlins, Roman Quinn. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yo one. And that's outside. We're playing 11. One ball, one strike. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. But they hold a 5 nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now here is Harper. Philadelphia, the right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper.
the pitch. And that's in for a strike. And the right hander deals. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Lopez gets the swing and the miss, and there's one down. Well, he didn't want to go after him with the fastball at all and that at bat. Nothing but off-speed stuff. Even with all the change-ups coming, somehow he was still early on the swing. So I think he had to be thinking it was only a matter of time until he saw some heat. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. First offering, misses the mark. And the 1 0. And there's the strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit Outside. in this at bat. Next one is off the play. Two and one. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Here comes a pitch. Okay. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Sanchez moving under this one. Makes the play and it's out number three. Phillies down in order. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, Jazz Chisholm. The pitch. That just misses, and it's 1-0. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Joe Jimenez up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Dominguez getting cranked up as well. The lefty, the 1-0. Looked like it was a little bit up. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. The wind and the pitch. In for a strike. That's strike one. And there's That's ball the ball. four. Take your base. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Garcia in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball.
Next pitch is outside. Into center and a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. That one's in there. And the count is one and one. At the belt and fires. In there at the knees for a strike. The pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Stretches out and hauls it in. Runner tags it second, and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Now here's the Marlins' DH, Jesus Aguilar. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Next offering misses, and now it's even 1 and 1. First and third, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. Next ball. pitch misses. Go. Two and two. Playing two balls, two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Castellanos makes the grab. Runner tags from third. The throws no, offline. He's safe. It's six nothing. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ryan Anderson, the next up for the Marlins. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way ball. so the hitter can focus on the pitch. One ball, one strike. And now the lefty. And ball. another ball. Garcia leads off first with two down to the inning. Line drive, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. So first and second with two outs. And at the plate for Miami, Miguel Rojas for the fourth time tonight. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. First and second, two down. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Ah. 
Two on, two outs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Marlins six and the Phillies nothing. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Leading off for the Phillies, the third baseman, number 16, Gio Urshela. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. Righty delivers. Ball. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Cooper makes the play, one up, one down. Now batting, shortstop, Bryson Stott. This is Bryson Stott. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Out to short. Rojas handles the chance. And a couple of quick outs. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, JT. Real and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Late swing fouled off. Line drive, caught! Down quickly, go the Phillies. Still up against a six, nothing deficit. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. Leading off for the Marlins, the catcher. The pitch out in front and foul to the left side. That one pushed foul. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. Lane 12, one ball, two strikes. One, two now. Popped up. Munoz on the move towards foul ground. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Now it's going to be Jesus Sanchez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He blasts a souvenir into the second deck. Home run number 20 on the year. And they tap one on the board. It's 7-0.
with a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. At the play, Roman Quinn. The switch hitter batting right. The left fielder, number four. In there for strike one. One strike. You won. They say you win. No ball. Two strikes. Oh, and two now. That ball. one missed. Play 12. One, two to count. Here's a one, two. And a ball evens the count. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And the pitch. Stays alive. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Back to the top of the Miami order. Jazz Chisholm, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, and he just misses. And he grounds one back up the middle into the outfield base hit. And that extends the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. So man aboard. Now it's the right fielder, Avasail Garcia. First offering, and it just One misses. No and a pitch. And now it's even up. Playing 11. And Garcia gets a piece. Chisholm off of first with two away. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Nicely done for the out. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. Anthony Bass into the game, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Odubel Herrera. And he deals. And downstairs. The 1-0. And that's in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And there's a ball. Right-handed reliever. That one ripped. And there's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. 
Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Boom stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is downstairs. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. The next pitch misses, and the count is even, two and two. Nobody out, runner at first. Oh, he hit him, and that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, that pitch right there didn't even sniff the zone. He was all out of whack on that delivery. Munoz at the plate and takes high there. And the 1 0. And the slider catches the zone. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Right hander kicks, deals. Slapped foul. No outs, runners at first and second. And a ball and two strikes. And now two and two. Swings and misses. And that's the first out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Bryce Harper to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. Ball to strike. And now just two outs away. The one, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one, two. Stays alive. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know it. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. And that's in there for strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is down low.
And that one wrapped foul. Is just one strike away. And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.